Hello everyone. Welcome to Service Now Guy. I am Gunjan Kiratkar. Today here I am with again uh, with a new use case. And within this use case, we will discuss about the JavaScript executor. Many of you might already know that JavaScript executor. Many of the people might don't know about this. What is the uses of it and how we can use it in the real time. So as you can see on my screen that I have opened the incident form. And within that incident form, you can see that this country is a read only. So suppose if any UI policy or if any client, client script is applicable on this country field and on on change of this country, we need to uh, test whether um, if this location or any other field is changing or not. So in order to do that, now what here is this country is a read only. So we can't directly change it. So what any developer does is they directly go to the uh, background script they write down the code for this to glide the table enter the csid get this particular record and then try to change this country from the background script now service now give us the uh, advantage to use the javascript executor and in order to open that javascript executor what we have to do is you just need to click control alt shift plus j in the windows and control option shift plus j on the macbook so what i'm doing is i'm just clicking these four buttons and then you can see that the javascript executor pops up now here we can delete this part and then write down g underscore form dot set value and then name of that field q underscore country and i just wanted to set it as the india so the backend value for the choice india is uh, india in small letters and for the us is the uh, us in the small letters so you just need to set this uh, using this line and then click on the run my code so as i click on the run my code the country gets updated to the india after that you can close it you can che check if there is any changes that need to be happen after changing of the country or if you wanted to save this record you can also save it it will get updated into the database as well so that is the one use case uh, uh, where you can use this javascript executor in a very effective way so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you find this video as helpful do subscribe to the channel like this video and share with your friends as well thank you so much